Behind me, folks, is the 2020 Silverado 2500 HD four-wheel drive high country. That's quite a mouthful, but what's even more of a mouthful is the price tag, $76 thousand dollars yes folks this truck has a base price of around sixty thousand dollars for the silverado high country 2500 hd but this one also has about fourteen thousand dollars worth of options now for those of you that have seen our gmc sierra denali at4 video you're going to see a lot of things right here that are very similar but you all seem to like that video so we thought we would bring you this truck's brother so let's get into it First, two things. First of all, I know we've been filming a lot of General Motors vehicles recently. Don't worry, folks. We are going to have more brands rolling out soon on our next break. Also, we haven't been putting out videos very constantly because we are in college right now. But we are putting out videos whenever we can, so thank you for sticking with us. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing for more videos like this. Also, a big thanks to Eric at Coon Chevy Buick GMC of Clarksville and all the wonderful folks there for helping us take a look at this vehicle and many others they are really great people we highly suggest working going to their dealer if you are looking for a new chevy buick or gmc here in the maryland area so let's get into this so let's start getting a look at this vehicle it is huge first of all just look it comes up to my shoulders right here and i'm a tall guy i'm around six feet tall and it just comes right up to me now uh, this has a cool gray color i just really like how this color looks with the chrome and especially the brown accents right here on the grill uh, as we move inside we're going to see some more brown accents inside as well i think they work very well for this vehicle you have this cool hood scoop right here and you just have a bulging hood i mean it says duramax on it, allison transmission this cool badging just this big angular hood it's very cool looking i think it just looks very masculine very cool and you just have these strong bars going across the front of the vehicle uh, these small ones and you have this large one right here with your blacked out chevy badge uh, with that chrome i think it just looks so cool and if you've seen any of our other um general motors truck videos you know that i really like the headlights on these vehicles i really like the headlights on the silverado i think they play really well with the bodywork um, they play really well at the grill too they almost act as a buffer between the two i think it's a very cool look and i very much like it and then i really like how there's like folds in the bodywork like down here there's a cool fold in the bodywork i just think this truck looks mean it looks like it's ready to do business here we are looking at the side of the truck and once again you can just get an appreciation for the scale of this thing these heavy duty pickup trucks are probably my favorite class of vehicle to record here on gas guzzler reviews we've done the gmc version of this truck along with the ford f-250 i just love these things so you can see again it is just super imposing it is super tall it is far taller than i am this is a massive truck you have these large tow mirrors right here that come out um you have all sorts of lights around it that just give it a super mean, almost semi-truck look. This thing really is like a semi-truck. Down here, you have some very neat sort of a, a chromey silver wheels. You have this big Chevy badge on them. I think it's a very cool look. It's very off-roady looking. It's very angular. I definitely really like this. And then you have your square wheel arches, which some people are a fan of, some are not. And then, but that's trademark Chevy. And then down here, you have your very nice step, to, which is pretty much necessary in this truck. There's no way you're getting in this truck if you do not have that. You have some badging around the side, like your 2500 HD right here. You also have a very good looking high country badge right here, letting everyone know you are driving a top of the line $76,000 truck. You can also see that Allison transmission Duramax badge I mentioned earlier on. We're gonna talk about the powertrain a little bit later on in the video. Continuing to move down, you see we have these nice chrome door handles right here. And one thing I really like about this truck is how the roof line barely slips down. It just slips down a little bit, and then you have this tiny little overhang at the end. I really like that. Moving along your bed, you have your fuel cap right here, diesel emission fluid as well. You also have a step right here that can be very helpful for looking up in the side of your truck. And then really that's it for the side of this vehicle. It doesn't have anything too extraordinary going on, but I think it is very good looking, very bulky, very mean. I like it a lot. And here we are at the back of the vehicle, and I still think it's very handsome back here. Now, you, uh, if you've seen the new Silverado redesigns, you're going to recognize the Chevrolet badge stamped in here, which I think is very neat. One thing I never noticed is they connect the E and the T and the E and the V right here. I don't know if that's something new they just started doing, but I like the look of it. Um, as we move down, we have our High Country badge, and I, I've mentioned it before, I love the High Country badge because they actually put some work into it. It's these, this mountain range right here. It's very cool. It shows that this is a premium vehicle. 
Now you do actually have two cameras in here, which is very cool. You have uh, different cameras depending on what the vehicle is looking at. If it's just, it'll zoom in on your hitch or it can show you your rear view camera, uh, which gives you a more general view. That's a very useful feature. You have your towing connections right here and you do have some sensors. You all, for parking, you also have a step right here to get in the bed. You also have a massive exhaust pipe. We'll show you how big it is, but you, it's really a huge pipe. Now you don't get the cool tailgate like you do in the GMC that folds down in like eight different ways or whatever, but you do have a power tailgate. So we can drop it right here and that is very cool. It is power. Um, as you can see, your taillights flash. Um, there's not too much to mention about them. They don't really look, they don't inspire me. I do like how the bodywork cuts into them here. Um, other than that, I just think they are an average looking taillight. Uh, now, sort of a neat feature is this is a power closing tailgate. So you can press the button or if your hands are full, what you can do is you just take your knee, hold it up, and then the truck will close it for you. So that is a very neat option. Now we don't want it to be up, we want it to be down so I can show you the back of this bed. In here in the bed, this is the standard length bed. You're gonna find about 82 inches of room that translates to about 6.8 feet. Um, so really this is very usable. We'll talk about your hauling capacity when we move up front and talk about your powertrain. Back here you can see the camera system for seeing your bed and the camera for um, your rear view mirror. You do have some power outlets back here, you have some LED lights, and you have 12 tie downs back here, so you can really secure whatever you want. This is a very well designed bed, very practical, good design. Here is what this truck is all about, the engine. Now you can get a gas engine, which will give you 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. Now that's cute and all, but that's not going to tow 18,000 pounds. You heard me folks, right here we have the 6.6 .6 liter turbocharged Duramax diesel engine made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission capable of towing 18 thousand pounds according to Chevrolet's website. Now if you jump up to the 3500, that number becomes over 35,000 pounds, which is just mind boggling. But in this truck right here, the 2500 HD, we have the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel, which pumps out about 445 horsepower. But you know that in these types of trucks, horsepower is not what matters. You care about torque. 910 pound feet of torque, giving this vehicle a total gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds. So this thing really is getting more and more like a semi truck. These heavy duty pickup trucks are getting out of control and I love it. Overall, my exterior impressions of this vehicle are very impressive. Just like the GMC, I think it is very masculine looking. I think it is strong looking and this has the muscle to back up these looks. Again, that 18,000 pound towing capacity is just mind boggling. This thing looks sharp. It has just the right amount of chrome, just the right amount of bulge, just the right amount of angles. I think is really good looking. Now that will also continue inside. Let's hop inside and take a look. Okay, so getting into your Silverado 2500 HD is pretty simple. You're going to take your key and as you can see right here, you have your remote start and this does have the proximity access system. All you're going to do to unlock your, your truck is press this button right here. It will unlock. You can then open the very heavy door. Uh, I'm serious. You got to be lifting weights to get into your truck if you have one of these. It has some serious weight to it. We're going to start with some of our interior impressions here. And looking around, it's a pretty nice place to be. So I can tell you that there are a lot of padded materials. Not necessarily soft touch. Like it doesn't feel soft, but it's definitely padded. Right up here on your dash, this is all soft touch right here. Uh, even your glove box cover is has this soft touch like uh, kind of plasticky leather on it. You have some nice stitching going around your center area area right here and you also have this weird brown material that we've seen in the other General Motors trucks but I actually really like it it's like a shiny brown plastic I'm not entirely sure what to call it but I do like how that looks and that's nicely accented with some nice shiny metal that goes around your air vents your air vents themselves also have some nice rubber and chromey metal on them um, in terms of overall just other neat design elements other than that strip right there, you have a cool little overhang over your gauge cluster in front of your driver. I'm not sure if there's a purpose to that, but it's like a separate piece of the dashboard, and I think it adds some nice depth to the vehicle. Overall, this is a very nice looking area, so let's get into some of the details of it. So the driver's area here in the 2500 HD is actually a very nice place to be. And that makes sense. You're going to be probably making long hauls in this vehicle. You want it to be comfy. So right here, this seat is heated and cooled. And I will say it does feel very good. I do like seeing in it. Your heater can adjust just your bum, just your back, or both, which is very nice. 
Now you do have power adjustment for your seat along with lumbar and the passenger seat has that as well. Your door area and where you rest your arms feels very good. Uh, it's nicely padded. There is plenty of padding on both of these areas. Very generous. And you also have some nice wood right here surrounded by some nice metal. You do have a little bit of black plastic right here, but that's kind of be, uh, to be expected in any vehicle. That's not specifically a luxury vehicle. And you have a nice metal uh, door handle right here as well. You have your controls for your uh, sort of drive modes and your trailer controls and your lights all on this panel right here. It's very easy to access, very easy to see. One thing I don't like is the parking brake button is right here. I'm used to it being here in other vehicles. For some reason, General Motors vehicles has it here, but it's something you'll get used to quick if you're driving this vehicle. Steering wheel feels okay. I'm gonna make the same complaint I make in all other General Motors pickup trucks. I wish it was thicker. Um, but other than that, if you rest your hands right here, I also don't like that you're resting your fingers on these plastic paddles. Um, they are useful for controlling certain features, but I would just wish this be metal or something, um, or not metal, um, leather. Uh, it would feel much nicer and those paddles were placed elsewhere, but still, you know, it's not a terrible feel. I do like the design of the steering wheel. You have more of that shiny uh, brown plastic along with just the black leather and then some uh, black plastic inside that. It is a visually appealing steering wheel to look at and you have all sorts of controls for some of your safety features on the left your heated steering wheel and then on the right you have controls for your driver control screen right here which we will now take a look at and this right here is your center information area so you can see that we have two physical gauges that are nicely surrounded by that screen in the middle it's a very high definition it's very quick and right here this is your home screen it's going to show you your speed uh, and your odometer and what drive mode you're in along with just a few other auxiliary gauges and that is very nice to have uh, have that information right there now this screen is controlled with these buttons right here so all you're going to do is you're going to just take this button right here to go left and right and you can see as i click this it will cycle through different screens so we have all sorts of different screens the info one's fairly interesting uh, you can scroll up or down within these menus using the knob right here but you can see it does give you a lot of useful information especially if you're towing or using this vehicle for utility purposes a lot of this information will be very important to return to our home screen we are just going to push this button right here so this is a very useful feature and uh, a lot of trucks have this now good job general motors very useful this vehicle also comes equipped with a heads-up display now you can see right here that it is very clear at least i'm hoping showing up on camera as being very clear it is very clear from my point of view and you can adjust this simply by using these buttons right here so you can see as i press the info button right here it will change through different modes so this is a very useful feature uh, general motors has done a lot with heads-up displays they put in the corvette very early on and it's cool to see it sort of evolve and become more useful so now we're going to take a look at your center area here in the vehicle. So starting up here, you have basic controls for your sunroof. You do have just a typical sunroof right here that is power. That's nice to have. You do have your garage controls and whatnot. And you do have OnStar support with this vehicle. Now moving down from that, we have the very cool General Motors um, rear view mirror. If you have seen any of our other high-end vehicles from General Motors reviews, then you will be familiar with the system. Essentially, for those of you that don't know, there's a very high resolution, good camera in the back of this vehicle that acts as your rear view mirror and makes a feed to this screen right here. To make this a regular mirror, all you have to do is flip a little switch, but this uh, way you basically don't have anything like the headrest or anything in your bed obstructing your view. So that's a very useful practical system. Now moving down from that, we have these nice air vents right here that are surrounded in that metal I was mentioning, your brown finish, and then you also have some nice stitching right here. That's kind of nice to see. Now, again, if you have seen any of our General Motors videos, you know we are a big fan of this infotainment system here at Gas Guzzlers. As you can see, it is very snappy, very quick. I have no complaints about its speed. It does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, and it does have the Wi-Fi hotspot, which I, at the time of this video is $20 a month for unlimited data. Um, now, some very my favorite app on here is probably the camera app uh, in these General Motors ones. This one has a cool 
tailgate view that I have pulled up for you or bed view so you can see what's going on in the bed of your vehicle. Now again, some camera views don't work as well as others. As you can see, this one's got some weirdness going on. But as you can see, the cameras are very high resolution and you can turn on guides and whatnot. Overall, it's a very helpful system, especially when you're driving a truck as large as this one. You have a physical home button and some physical controls right here that interact with your system. Then moving from that, you have your climbing con climate controls. These are the cool climate controls that show the temperature in the dial. I currently have the climate control turned off just so that you all don't hear all the wind blowing around. Um, but it, the dials feel very good. They're rubberized. They have this nice little metal trim and then the blue and the red lights around them. It's a very cool look. I do quite like it. Moving down from that, you have the controls for your heated and cooled seats. And then below that, you have these switches that control a lot of your vehicle functions. I like the look of these switches a lot. They remind me of the Mustang. The Ram 1500 has them. Um, they're very cool looking. Something I pointed out in our uh, GMC video when we did the GMC version of this truck is that the symbols are all mismatched. So here's what I mean. This vehicle is a heavy duty pickup truck but then the symbol right here for the hill descent control has an suv while the symbol for traction control has a picture of a car it's just something sort of funny to notice and there's a pickup truck right here so you have all sorts of different vehicles on your switch gear of course it's not really a big complaint or anything it's just something kind of fun this truck does have an exhaust brake we are in the diesel and then you also have some controls for your safety systems and whatnot Moving down from that, you have your trailer controls along with a USB-A and USB-C port, which is very nice to have. You then have a cigarette outlet along with a household power outlet. And moving down from there, you have a nice storage cubby area along with a wireless phone charger. Now here in your middle area, you have these nice cup holders right here, and they do have the nice uh, little rubber pads right here, which mean that no matter the size of drink, it will be held in here just fine, surrounded by this nice metal finish. You also have some nice wood and metal right here. I like this wood. Um, and now moving back from that, here is a nice area to rest your phone. You can see a phone would fit perfectly right in there, and you have this nice perforated leather and this nice stitched leather surrounding that so it feels very nice and I like how they have the little kink right here in the design I think that's more interesting design wise than if they just did a straight line opening this area up you will find a very large storage compartment with an SD card slot USB-C USB-A and aux port so um, this doesn't have all of the cool little uh, contraptions and like uh, equations that the RAM one does uh, but it is still a nice, useful area. Overall, the front cabin is very well designed, very practical. Let's move into the back now. Now here in the back of the vehicle is a very nice place to be. As you can see, I have tons of leg room. This is where Colin was sitting, our cameraman. He's about as tall as I am. And you can see I have tons of leg room right here. The seats themselves are actually very cozy. Um, even the middle one is very usable. It's very wide. It's not as comfy as the outboard ones, but still very nice. Your outboard seats are heated. You have three levels of heating, and you have some nice connectivity back here as well. You have a USB-A, USB-C port, and you also have a cigarette lighter right here. Now, you also have two air vents back here, and then you also have this nice sort of metal outlining all of that. So that's a very nice thing to have. You also have two cup holders right here. Now let's talk about your doors a bit. Uh, you have that nice wood trim again. You also have a bit of metal surrounding that. The same nice metal pool handles and you have nice little bits of this soft touch material like up here and where you rest your arm also feels very nice. So overall you could definitely ride back here for a long trip as an adult. You could even fit three adults back here comfortably. You do also have a nice pull out center area which has two cup holders in it and you all if you've seen some of our other gm truck videos you'll know about this uh they have these nice little in seat cubbies which we will show you some b-roll of that you can store whatever you would like in overall a very nice place to be for your rear passengers so my overall impressions of this vehicle are very positive, just like it's GMC, brother, and it better be for $76,000. Look, this video, this vehicle has a lot of capacity. It has a very nice interior. It has great exterior looks. If you're looking for a heavy-duty pickup, the 2020 Silverado H 2500 HD should definitely be high up on your list. Thank you so much for watching, folks. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing and checking out some of our other reviews. Have an awesome week, and we will see you in our next video.